Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. I have a well, let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk about Xenon. Now, um, more of a conversation. I want to know what you guys, I want to hear some input from, from, from you, the viewers, um, for other people that might be getting into the game or, or in the game but just don't know how to really deal with the Xenon. Now, left unchecked, and full disclosure, this is before I'm adding the Terran into this playthrough, but full disclosure, there you go. Left unchecked, the xenon, the xenon will ray, just just absurdly demolish civilizations, or factions. Uh, let's take this. This is this is what four K's and an I. Now this trade station, for some odd reason, is still hanging in there. I honestly don't know how. Um, but four K's and an I. I don't think I've ever seen four K's and an I in one spot. But left unchecked, the Xenon can do what they really did with the Xyarth in this in this game for me. Now, typically this doesn't happen with Xyarth in my playthroughs, but Xyarth has just. I mean, Xyarth's Dominion One gone. Family Newt basically gone you have family crit family zen family zalka wretched skies and the pyranids are gone now i'm actually going to get my um my scout ship back over there to to lay down some more satellites because some of these satellites were where stations were oh look at this another k I do need to map out where the Xenon are going. Now, typically, typically in the playthroughs that I do, it's it's the free families. The the free families are the ones that that really have the issue. But here, here I've propped them up. I, I've added to their economy along with the Talati, and after um, well, after after the slaves and the uprising for the Hall of Judgment. I guess the Argon are now here as well. They, uh, they've actually been able to hold their own. Now, I also now, after months, uh, have a full-fledged Earl King. I do actually have uh, two ships. I'm actually going to start building a fleet. It's going to be the, um, the Xenon Station Destroyer. Some things that can stay out of harm's way from Xenon Stations and... And, and really just take them out. I'm actually going to push them together against this solar power plant. But even Animus Zura, which typically is a, is a hot point for the Xenon in, in, in any playthrough I do, is not even swarming. This playthrough is very, um, very unique. This doesn't have a whole lot of Xenon activity either. But what does is... Holy Vision actually get, does get uh, quite a few. I've actually had to come down here and uh, take down stations. This is actually where my Earl King died. I had to reincarnate it. Uh, and then... Hatikva. Hatikva's choice has been a constant constant stream of Xenon and Argon back and forth. Now, I never did the missions for, um, or started the missions for the Argon against the Xenon. Uh, maybe you guys have. Maybe that's a way that you guys have been able to keep the, uh, the Xenon in check. I honestly, I've never done them. I honestly don't know how well they work. I know how the mission system works is based off the sector and what the sector needs. But how do you guys deal with them? Do you guys go brute force? Oh, look at that. I guess there's going to be another incursion. That's a big fleet, actually. Look at that. Got some ships here still. Oh, maybe it's two different fleets. They're going to go straight in that gate. 
they're going to go into this sector. They do get sometimes pretty far, as you see. But what do you guys do? Do you guys go brute force in there? Do you do you take them out? Do you send do you send a fleet to go deal with them uh, without you? Uh, is it in sector, out of sector? What are what are some things that we can do to really curb the xenon threat? And I, and I, again, I, I do say this before adding the the, the Terran um, content into this playthrough because the Terrans themselves are kind of a regulator in Xenon space, at least for the Argon going through Tharks Crusade and... F oh, is it Tharks Crusade? Yeah, Tharks Crusade and um, getting over to their, their own Xenon sectors. But let me know. Shoot me a line, put it in the, put it in the comments. How do you guys take on the Xenon? I do look forward to hearing from it and learning. We are actually going to go in a little more depth to things about the Xenon and, and, and fleet buildup and, and uh, actually combat out of sector, um, out of sector combat with, uh, with fighters as well. Coming up soon, that's the, that's the plan. I'm trying to build up a, a force. Um, right now I'm trying to do a little testing for what fighter might be the best. Uh, but let me know. Shoot me a line. But I do hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night, evening. And this is Skillet signing off from X4 Foundations.